Hey guys, Dreadbane joined by Sapphire. Uh, the featured match we've got here is between Nirvana, the Blue Protoss, and Red Archon, the Red Terran, fittingly. So this is Metalopolis, Seth, so what are we in store for? Yeah, interesting uh, skirmish going on here. Red Archon has shot up the charts lately. He was number one overall, stealing the spot from Glade and Nirvana for a f uh, the last week or so there. Lately, it's, there's been a resurgence from a couple of Protoss players, but we did have a Terran sitting on top of the C overall rankings, and Red Archon is actually from Corrupted Tango, a.k.a. the most stacked diamond division in all of the C server. It's got... All the all the best players that are in Corrupted Tango. There's a few that that aren't, but basically it's all the people who started right as uh, the game was released. That got the game installed and were straight on right after the midnight release. So Red Archon was in that. So it's even more impressive that he got to the top when he's in Corrupted Tango. Not to write off uh, Nirvana though, because Nirvana's been playing really well and he's had a resurgence after he was number two behind Glade for so long. He slipped down to five or six and now he's back up to third overall. So he's doing he's doing pretty good. And of course this is just the just the statistical rankings, it's not saying they're the you know, third overall best player, but Blizzard, who has a Southeast Davis server invitational coming up, is very, very heavy into using the statistics to calculate the players for those rankings, so it is important to keep note of it. Looking like a pretty interesting opening from Red Archon, going uh, no, no wall in here, he's just throwing down the supply depot, choosing to keep his uh, barracks a little bit closer and getting a reasonably early refinery as Nirvana scouts out here. So yeah, looking forward to this one. Yeah, I was curious at the release that if all the best players start at the same time, they'll get into some kind of group of death. So it is kind of fitting that uh, we are casting one of the top one of the top players from that because, you know, as with everything, if you start off, everybody's playing straight away. So yeah, I find it very interesting that that actually did come about. So yeah, it should, it should be a good one. Yeah, the, the group of death is it's an interesting phenomenon, and it's just based on uh, what happens with Blizzard's rankings. If you start at the same time as other people, you will get in a division with them, and people who got the game and started straight away were more likely to uh, end up in the same division. Now that we're going to have a bunch of people going uh, from the Southeast Asia server to the US server when the gateway select is online, I imagine that the first people going across will get in a new division and a group of death, possibly in American servers. So keep in mind, if you're... Uh, a gold or a diamond player and you're worried about uh, what division you're going to be in, if you go in right across you'll be in the group of death which may be a good thing but you know just something to keep in mind. Early Marauder coming out uh, for Red Archon so looking to put some early pressure um, as the concussive shells is being researched so we'll see him pressing the um, Protoss's base of course because he's going stalkers to avoid those early reapers so Oh, we'll have to see how Red Archon's micro is. I'm sure it's very, very good, and we'll have to see how much damage he can cause with this early push. He is choosing to um, use this Marauder, though, to hang out maybe by the Zornaga Tower for the meanwhile, so maybe not going straight over there quite yet. Yeah, interesting choice. He could get really caught out of position with this Marauder. I don't necessarily agree with this. I think using an SCV would be better. Just getting, making sure there's no kind of uh, interesting business going on, no kind of proxy there. So, you know, not too bad, but he could have uh, had a Stalker push coming in early and been caught out, but he does have that second Marauder coming in there. Interesting, we see Nirvana putting a pylon at the side of his base, which will allow him to warp down units, as well as possibly hide some tech, so which will become very important. He's got two of those right now, one behind the sneaky, sneaky smoke, smoke vent, so I imagine we're going to see uh, some kind of hidden tech going down very soon for Nirvana, who's got that second assimilator up reasonably early. So, yeah, we are seeing the Stargate not hidden as well as it could be but we are seeing a very fast stargate and there's the scan going off immediately after and so that's a bit of bad luck there for nirvana beautifully timed scan by uh, red archon and he will pick up that stargate so now he knows he's going to have to deal with void rays unless we see some kind of phoenix here i wouldn't be that surprised to see nirvana cancel that stargate seeing the scan was there and switch into robotech but no he is persisting with it so we're just going to see how much damage he's going to be able to do now that Red Archon knows this is coming. But Red Archon's expanding relatively soon here, getting a command center up in his base. I imagine that he may just convert that straight to an orbital, and while he gets uh, a bunch of marines online just to deal with these uh, potential void rays that are coming, and this probe scout is going to get uh, marauded very, very quickly. Yeah, I, li I like the choice here just to quickly expand. He's going to get it out before the Protoss player because he is taking so quickly now. So um, these Phoenix is actually coming out. So um, a bit of a curious one there because, of course, uh, Marine's so good against those Phoenixes. Um, we'll have to see how it works out for him. I mean, you can micro them quite well. He's going to get a bunch of them so he can try and get in the probe line. But 
I don't know. I I like Void Race myself personally, but of course you can you can do tricky stuff with everything. So yeah, it looks like it, it's basically going to come down to Micro here as we see this first Phoenix on the map. If he can Micro in and out because they are a very very fast unit, he can do a lot of damage to the probe line, especially picking him up with Graviton and just harassing the hell out of him, picking up the stray units, especially if he picks up stray mech units. But right now, Red Arkham's gone very very bio, but it is a bunch of uh, scouting information for Nirvana who's picking this all up getting all this information made available to him, which is nice. And he is getting more phoenixes online, so a second phoenix, investing relatively heavy in this. It's uh, gonna it's gonna need to do some kind of economic damage with it, because this heavy investment in phoenix means that he's slowed down his ground build. He does have a semi okay force to defend with, but Red Archon's just scouting him out right now, just uh, turtling up a little bit behind these bunkers, getting a second bunker outside his... Uh, natural expansion here. Meanwhile, these phoenixes not really doing too much. They're just sort of hanging out, hovering around, getting out scouting information. And uh, we aren't seeing any more coming out for Nirvana. So, interesting to find out what uh, Nirvana's going to switch into now, as we do see Zila leg speed going down. But no expansion while he uh, sends a pro, possibly thinking about, yes, he is throwing an expansion down at the gold expansion, but Red Arkham's been so good on scouting at this uh, Zelnaga Tower. It's just unfortunate for him that SCV left there a little bit too late. And we are seeing these Phoenixes move in now, finally, picking up uh, a bunch of stray SCVs building uh, <laughs> the factory. So that's going to slow that down, picking up the refinery one as well. These Marines coming in to deny it. So nice timing there by Nirvana, getting that expansion down after the scout uh, went through and then picking up a bunch of uh, stray SCVs and slowing the build time down of Red Archons. It's going to be hugely annoying from Red Archons' point of view. Yeah, just great, great timing there. I, I wonder if um, Red Archon knows. He, of course, doesn't because he did scout just before. So um, he, as far as he's concerned, that's clear. So that could be very, very beneficial for Nirvana there. It's a great choice as these Phoenixes continue to try and harass them. But there's a bunch of these Marines now um, not taking any of the actual health down of Nirvana's units, though. So, uh, you know, not really of any loss there. So... So far, they are starting to pay for themselves with all these kills. One of them's got two, the other one's got two also. So, uh, as long as he keeps them alive with this force, he should be okay. Um, but really, the pro uh, Red Archon is just happy to ha hang out in his bunkers, just minimize the losses to these um, uh, SCVs in his main. He's put a bunch of missile turrets there. So, I'll have to sit tight as the uh, t factory with the tech lab is going down right now. Yeah, Red Archon still does not know about this expansion because of that Zelnaga timing. I imagine we might see a little bypass to the Zelnaga, or he might just run through the Golden Ores. He is running through, so he will pick this up now, finally. Actually, no, the SCV did not get close enough to get that image on that... Uh Expansion, there's a little bit of a mistake there from Red Archon, but meanwhile, Nirvana's harassment with these Phoenixes, which is not too devastating, but it's forcing Red Archon to be a little bit defensive, and it's really allowed him to get this gold expansion up and running. And just looking at the income, we're already seeing Red, Ar Red Archon slip behind Nirvana here, he's up by 200, and there's six more harvesters for Nirvana. So at this point, uh, looking reasonably good for Nirvana, especially as he gets that uh, High Templar Archives is researching Psystorm now, so he's going to get be able to pump a bunch of uh, High Templars out, which is going to do absolutely nasty things to Terran biology builds. So we'll see uh, how this goes. Yeah, more siege tanks and um, marauders, another bunker going down for um, Red Archon. So really just very, very interested in keeping this uh, expansion going as these phoenixes are still flying overhead, taking a couple shots at the barracks, but not too much. So we'll have to just wait and see. 